we'll remove the clip from the cap. It just unwinds and we'll run over the clip with our silver cleaning cloth. See if that'll shine it up a little bit. You can see that shining up. Now, do the circle up here. And the edge of it. Because that will show once the cap is put back together again. Nice Conway Stewart imprint there on the clip. There's a little bit of scratching just from light use. No gouges or anything, but a little bit of light scratching. We'll run over the cap with some micro mesh and put a nice shine on that now. So our micro mesh sheets. Our 12,000. Those aside. Wrap it around. Rub it very gently up and down the full length. Of the cap, you should give it a nice polish. Yep, you can see that's coming up rather nicely. We'll do the end bits in a moment. Now down this end. Mmm, very nice. Now the cap screw. Now that's not going to be easy to do because of the angle on it. But we'll give it a, a rub on the 12,000 mesh. Clip on. Hold that. And once again, not easy with gloves. We'll put the cap on. Get the thread set properly and then tighten it up. Cap has come up rather nice. Look at the shine on that. Lovely. You'll notice there's two little holes. One there. One on the opposite side. 
which is now under the clip. But we always make sure that those holes are free and not clogged up. It will reduce condensation in the cap and if they're clogged up when you're unscrewing the pen from the cap it can cause ink to be vacuumed out of the nib. Right, we'll put that aside. Put the nib there. Now we'll run over the barrel. There's some 12,000. Got him. Open that up. Now before we run over the barrel with our 12,000 micro mesh, there's a little bit of pitting down there, just there, that we want to remove. So there's two things we've got to do. We've got to cover the lever filler so we don't rub it. And we also have to cover the imprint down here with some tape so that we don't destroy the imprint. So I'll get those cut and put on and then we'll start using the 12,000 micro mesh paper to polish the barrel. There you can see I've covered the lever fill and the imprint with some tape. Now we can run the, the 12,000 micro mesh over the top of the pen. Just very lightly, it takes almost no pressure. Turn it round. The other end. Have a look at that rough spot that was a tiny little bit still there. Right, we'll do a bit of work on that. You see the shine that's coming up on the barrel of the pen. Good, that's looking right. That aside. Now we'll take off the tape once we can get underneath it. First one. The shellac is now dry, so we'll put the feed down there. there. and the sack back into the barrel of the pen. So get rid of that. Now the shot is to put a little bit of French chalk if you've got some ground up. If not, um, use talcum powder and put just a slight wipe over the top so that it slides into the pen and doesn't catch on anything the J bar or anything else inside. Don't use baby powder because it has oil in it and sets. 
and it will dissolve the sack. So it will insert that slowly down, making sure that we've gone under the, the filler. Push it in. There we have it. Put the cap on. And there's our finished product waiting to be inked. The last thing we do before we ink the pen and test the nib is we'll take a China Graph pencil, I'll use a white one. We'll carefully run it over the top of the insert. With the lead from the China Graph pencil. And that's done. We'll then wipe it off. You'll see how clearly the imprint stands out now. Conway Stewart, 16, made in England. Now we'll ink the pen and we'll test the nib to make sure it writes correctly. Do that. I'm still waiting for my bottle of noodlers. 54 Massachusetts to arrive. So in the meantime, I'll use my sample. Got the lever fill open. Put it into the sample. We'll close it. All the way up. back in the sample so we don't spill it over here with the rest now draw the section and the feed and the nib Cap on, make sure we leave it off. Now we'll see how the nib writes. Actually, I'll take my glove off for this, I think. Better control over the pen. A little bit extra pressure on that looks a lot better I think. I'll try that again.
That nib feels not too bad. We'll give it a test now. Maybe a tiny bit on the upstroke. We'll put it on some 12,000 micro mesh and run some figure eights with it. Number 16. That writes, writes very nicely. It'll take a little bit of getting used to because my current pen, the Twisby Diamond 580 is a lot heavier and I've got to learn to press a little bit harder on that but I do like the way that writes. That's what it looks like. That goes into my pen pouch now. Lovely.